Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and today we are back with another Real vs. Fake, this time with the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks. So if you want to know the difference between a Real vs. Fake, just keep on watching. I'm not afraid of... Okay guys, so we are back with another Real vs. Fake. This time it is the Everlasting Lipsticks by Kat Von D. And this is also very comparable to Androgyny by Jeffree Star. So this is the ninth one of this playlist. If you want to see any of my other Real vs. Fakes, they'll be linked in the description box below. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. I'm going to put the Real box on top and the fake one on the bottom. These are both in the shade Lolita. And here we go. The Kat Von D little logo is much more buffed out and unclear on the fake one. It's like blurry, whereas up here it's really crisp and clean. The Everlasting Liquid Lipstick title is exactly the same. They're both very metallic and pretty. And then comparing these, this is a thicker font of the liquid lipstick on the fake one than on the real one. Also, the silver little flowers right here on the real one are so much more bright and metallic looking, whereas these are much more matte and flat looking. Moving on to the sides of the tubes, we have the real one on top and the fake one on bottom. You can see the fonts are different and they have a little bit different writing on them. Just I'll let you see that for yourselves. And if anything, my camera doesn't focus, there will always, pick, always be pictures at the end of the video for you to check out and compare yourself. So let's go ahead and go to this side of the tube where we have the real one on top and the fake one on bottom again. And you can see the Lolita fonts are different as well as the color and shape of the stickers for the label. There is like a barely a little bit of a electric bolt on the fake one and it's much more squared off at the top of the shade with a different font. And then the real one has it much more rounded off corners of the shade name and then a bigger lightning bolt that goes all the way down with the sticker. Moving on to the tubes, these look very similar, very similar. This is the real one, this one's a fake one, but they look very similar. The tops of the tubes are different only because you can't even tell what the fake one is. It gets so blurred out and messed up looking that you can't tell what this one is. And it looks really crappily done. The bottoms, of course, the Kat Von D for the real one at the bottom is much more clear and easy to read. This one's more buffed out and hard to read. The design patterns are the same. Everything's metallic and pretty looking. But this one, the fake one, is much lighter in weight than the real one. And I also think the tube is fatter. So pulling out the wand of the real one, you see you have a flat little doe foot that holds a little bit of product. And it has a white tube. Taking the fake one out, there is no, there's like barely a doe foot there. Um, it's just kind of flat and it's a very different looking wand. The wand is bigger on the real one than on the fake one. Swatching the colors, I'm going to go ahead and swatch the fake one for you. And it is very inconsistent in texture and, well, it's not as opaque as you would want your lipstick to be. Also, this tube is very, very small. Going back to the real one, I'm going to swatch that one next to it. This is a much thicker and open tube, and it's very opaque. So, this one is the real one, and this one is the fake one. They are different colors. The real one is much more dark color and more matte right, right away, but the fake one is less opaque. It's very streaky, very liquidy, and does not dry down at all. So this one's darker, the real one's darker, opaque, matte, this one's wet, nasty. Smell. This one just smells like chemicals, the real one smells like chemicals. And then the fake one smells really sweet and kind of like suntan lotion. It doesn't smell good. Oh, and it's weird. These ones always smell so weird. But they're not drying down, or the real ones dried down, the fake ones not, still glistening. 
Okay, so the bottoms of the tubes themselves, the fonts are different and the print on them is different, but it's going to be really hard to see. So the top one is the real one. And you can see it's a much smaller title, Lolita, and the fake one on the bottom is much bigger and easier to read. However, it does not look as good. It's more of a matte, like, sticker on it, and this one's more shiny and pretty and glistening. It has more words on it. This one's just kind of simplified, matte, and gross looking, but that is just the difference between the bottoms of the tubes. Yeah, I think that's pretty much just the only differences between these two. They look really, really similar. They're not as similar as the ColourPop. Those were the hardest ones, but... These are very similar products. They are very nice. Like, I don't buy Kat Von D products anymore, um, but I continue to use the ones I already have, and I do enjoy this lipstick. So, thanks, you guys. I hope to see you on the next Real vs. Fake. The 10th one should be out really soon, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye!